Good morning everyone. We have woken up an extended stay. A lot has happened and we're unpacking everything. So I've already taken care of a few things for my boo. Medicine cabinet right here. All the medications he brought. Put everything else in here because we don't have a lot of room. It's all good though. We're used to being tiny and mighty. I have put his stuff underneath. And I've got to unpack my stuff. Let's be real. I'm going to take the big ass drawer below. I'm going to do that. Um, this place is so, so clean. I mean, like, what can you expect? I did bring some bleach stuff. And I need to hang up some of his clothes. I got to hang up only one of my dresses because everything is kind of tiny. There we go. But finally, someone gets it and does this instead of stupid ass curtains bathroom is not too bad it's tiny you expect it i am grateful for the tub and let's be real it's the only thing i care about <laughs> um i might need a little bit of tlc though but that's totally fine i'm gonna wipe everything down but the kitchen is the one thing i'm like eh screw it got everything out and about um i have started bringing stuff like i brought my own little things there. I brought some Clorox wipes because <clears throat> I'm going to want to disinfect everything. <laughs> um, this is a t oh, lamb sakes. That is absolutely disgusting. I think we're going to sacrifice one of these for the good of the cause because I brought my own shit brought in disposable stuff. I brought my kitchen knife, one of these, cause I know it's clean and brought my own plates. There's, and this is like, my hair gets everywhere. This is all the stuff I brought. Wine cork. I always, always rule of thumb when you travel and you know it's gonna be in an odd place, like one of these things, always bring your own. Cause that way, if you don't have one, you're good. So brought this, wine corks, champagne cork, wine cork, brought my own napkins because they don't have anything in here and you've got to ask. I did bring my own one towel because let's be real, darker colors the better, then you feel better. So I brought a limited amount of food, so I've got some cheese and stuff like that. Um, brought Diet Cokes for my boyfriend. We've got coffee creamer and actually technically we didn't need to bring that because they have it here. Um, Still got some olives, rosemary, good shit, a little bit of cheese. We went and got carambas, which is awesome. I did bring um, salsa and all this, so yeah. I probably should have cleaned everything before I put it in, but I did not do that. I brought my own plastic bags, garbage sacks. I brought... I brought in um, my rice cooker, one pot. I did have a crock pot. I figured the weight wasn't worth it, literally. And I brought my tea kettle because tea is life. So, and they actually didn't even have any. So it's a good thing that I brought my own stuff. They did have hot water, but it was mainly for like oatmeal and shit. All right, that is that. Um, let's see what else. They did give me some of these, so I just. As for two, I keep it simple. I hand wash it. Now they've seen the state of that. They bring two, I brought three glasses, brought spices, brought miso, chili flakes, because chili flakes is life. Um, this, I brought sliced fruit, because I'm going to be doing a ton of walking, so I might just pop, pop one in my bag. This is all the other stuff I brought, like Brought multiple porks and beans so that way we can use up these buns, popcorn, crackers for my boyfriend. Yeah, and applesauce because applesauce is life and I love applesauce. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna put this with the fruit though. Yep, I brought my own bag of rice. So, I have everything because, yeah. Um, I'll tell you a funny story about everything I brought. In a minute. Only thing I need to do is find a place for the wine. I think I'm just going to put it underneath the sink because that room's been taken and I'm not going to leave it on top of that. 
fridge, freezer. One thing I did bring because I never know is I brought my own ice maker thingy because there's no guarantee that they have them. This one does, but frankly, I've, I've just got my own. They're cute, adorable, and they're little roses, so I'm super stoked. All right, that's it for that. Um, we've already had an instance with something leaking in the bag, so that bag is toast. I brought my own tea, because tea is life. We did give muffins and coffee downstairs, which is great, and some breakfasty stuff. So, yeah, my boyfriend took his little stuff, and that was it. Um, yeah, so this is kind of the shit I brought. This is, like, my everyday carry, and that's for a project. <sighs> they did provide a coffee thing, just because my boo doesn't, he likes drip coffee. So, brought my own coffee filters and coffee. This is all my stuff. I brought this, this thing, and I've got a scarf right there. This is all my stuff. Uh, this is the bag that I got from Amazon. I actually really do like it because it fits a big ass thing, one of these, so excited. I always bring your own travel stuff, guys. And I've got my own set. I actually didn't even need to bring this. This is like for your eyes, but yeah. I had him bring the yoga mat because he does my floor routine, so yay me. This is all the other odds and ends that I brought. You know, they say you probably brought too much, but eh, screw it anyways. So yeah, I've brought multiple bags. Got this one, that one, and in here, I got my travel one thingy, so my Lululemon one, so yeah, awesome sauce. I've got to put everything right. I've done the food because that's been emptied. And so has this. I will never not enjoy bringing this thing. This is awesome. So this is what I brought. I brought my baby tripod. It's awesome. And apparently the table I have it on is awesome. So. I'm going to finish up my coffee and I'm going to tell you guys the story. First of all, my sister made bread. Yes! So I'm so stoked. Um, thank you for the, the happy donation of this week. Also, popcorn, heck yes. And chips is life. <sighs> I need to put them in little sandwich bags things later. So anyways, back to the story. Um, dang it. I think I almost finished all my coffee. Mm -hmm. Nice, made it in. So, my boyfriend, adorable man he is, brought up one thing I never thought I would actually realize as an adult. Food scarcity. You guys have all seen my massive Hulkin, right? Well, what I did when I was like, okay, we're getting ready for this trip, was I put about 30 cans, maybe 40, um, in this bag, along with all the other stuff you've seen. So it was heavy and massive. Um, my boyfriend kind of took me by the hands so very cutely, sat me down, and said, you have severe food anxiety, don't you? I looked at him. I'm like, no, no, I'm just packing stuff for each other. Like, he's like, this food could last you for two and a half weeks, the amount of food you're bringing. It's a lot, it's too much. You have severe food insecurities. And you know what? He was right. I do. I hoard food because there's been a lot of times in my adult life in the past five years where I didn't have anything. I had to rely on family to feed me because I didn't have any food. This is also while I was working multiple jobs or just working in general because food banks don't allow you to go on your lunch hour. They don't schedule it your time. And by the time you do have time, you're already out of food and you can't, you gotta go back to work.
So yeah, I have severe food anxiety. When I was a child, there wasn't a lot of good food. I, thinking back now, I would have loved the stuff that's in my cupboards because it's actually, some of it's actually healthier than the stuff I actually ate as a child. So I have food anxiety. I'm worried I'm gonna run out of food. I'm worried there's not gonna be any food. And I'm worried that there's not gonna be enough to feed me. And at least my boyfriend is super kind and super respectful about it because he has never been without food. I have always, some point throughout my life, I've always been without food. When I lived at home, if I didn't want Pamper sandwiches or like eggs or just kind of yogurt or whatever, like it was really crappy food. It's the same stuff all the time, like iceberg lettuce, salad, but there wasn't really salad because there wasn't anything in it. So it was really, really hard because the only when I finally had the money to buy food, my parents took it all. So anytime I bought vegetables or made a soup or made a stew or it was already gone. I had to feed two grown adult people on less than $7 an hour. Otherwise I couldn't have any of my food. So I do have issues with food. And I'm grateful for very clean water. All right, off our soapbox. We're gonna put everything away. My boyfriend's like, will you please put away my clothes? I'm like, honey, of course. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. And I'm so excited. Where I'm at is very, very lovely. I have seen a bunny this morning. I was just like, oh, yes, bunny. Yes, I know my hair's a hot mess. When you travel for like 13 hours, you're like, yeah, don't give a crap about my hair. Yes, so. We're gonna go out and about. I'm gonna find, I told my boyfriend, I'm like, honey, I'm gonna take some money and I'm gonna buy some stuff for my lips. Like there's gotta be a lip gloss, something that can hide it, that can hydrate it. And I don't think he brought Vaseline. So yeah, super excited. And I'm going to sunscreen it up. <sighs> the one thing I forgot was an umbrella. It actually looks like it might rain. I get to walk in the rain today. I'm going to do at least nine miles today. And I'm wearing my good shoes, so I should not have any issues with rubbing or whatever, so. Mm. All right, guys. We're going to have leftovers, and I'm really trying not to be like, ooh, bread, let's eat it. But, um, yeah, no, there's no way in hell I'm going to be using a dishwasher. It, it just scares me. I don't even know if they, you know, they probably don't even run vinegar through it. <laughs> well, I'm glad I brought all the plates and shit. And I think that's why they have a drying rack availability. So I'm like, Ugh. Anyways, deal with food scarcity a lot. Like my stomach, if it's not full or if I'm not constantly snacking, I'm like, I'm gonna starve. <laughs> so, I don't know. People don't care that much, but you know what? It's okay to talk about it because it just, it changes you as a person. And I gotta unpack. Cause that is a lot of stuff. We're gonna be here for a week. So yeah, we did find they had coin showers and not coin showers, coin laundry. So yeah. Only thing I don't like about this room is, hey, I wanted a dresser too. There is no dresser for me. There's only on one side of the bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is a queen. Mm-hmm. Anyways, yeah, they've got a little thing for whatever there, so I've got to unpack that bag. His shoes, my big ass bag, <laughs> and at least the whole can taken care of. Actually I'm gonna put this one away. And um, to my sister I need to buy those travel cute adorable hangers that you got from Amazon or to me or whatever. Ugh. All will be done soon. I took the liberty of wiping down 
everything with a bleach wipe because when I came in here, I noticed there was some black stuff right under there and I thought it was mold. So I bleached everything in here. <sighs> and I noticed that there were some stains at the bottom of the toilet, so I cleaned that too. 12 Clorox wipes and I'm like, screw it. So I cleaned the faces of these because let's be real, they probably weren't done very well. Bleached the inside, all the drawers, put everything back. Now, all my shit's in the bottom of the drawer. And this is the only thing I didn't bleach is under here because that's kind of pointless. So that's clean. Did not think I'd be cleaning my hotel room and I would be one of those people. But today I am because of that mess. So, yes, um, I am quite confident this is broken. Or if it is, it's super uh, shitty. So, not gonna be using that. Um, I did put everything away. Wine bottles in there. Foods on the counter. I know they at least cleaned this top. Um, I don't think they did a very good job in here. Actually, no, that's rust. Never mind, they did clean it. Well, no, that's not rust and we didn't have any food, so yuck. And someone took the liberty of melting something there. Yikes, holy shit. Things you found in hotel room. So now that I'm already on the cleaning kick, I'm gonna just wipe everything down so I feel better. Now I realize this is a really, really cheap place, but I am so grateful I took the time to bring one of these. Did not think I'd be like one of those influencers that, you know, cleaned their hotel room, but now I'm like, oh, good lamb lamb sakes. I have no idea when the last time they even cleaned this. Ugh, that's gross. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna wipe everything down. I mean, look, yeah, ish. I will do it for my own peace of mind, and everything's unpacked here. I like, uh, not so much worried about that stuff, but yeah, and I'm gonna need more food and more water and tea. But I did, yeah. See, I just need, yeah. I'm gonna just do a quick wipe down of everything. I'll feel better knowing I've done it table they really should have a glass top on top of this because it would make it easier probably cleaner so yeah and also i found a random battery in my boyfriend's pockets um i have unpacked him and it's funny because i actually found one of my shirts i've been looking for this for a while so i'm like honey stop stealing my shit got all his stuff all squared away I'm not trying to be OCD, but I was housekeeping for a couple months. So I got all his stuff unpacked. This drawer is gonna be mine. And his stuff's all socks in there, that's in there. And he's all good. I have one dress in my bag. So yes, he brings more stuff to me because he's got office to go to. Just glad that I cleaned all this. I didn't know why, but Sometimes people don't do a very good job. So his stuff's emptied, shoes are put away. What else did he bring in this thing? Ah, nothing, it's empty. All right, finished the bags, they're all empty, except mine. And I need to probably take everything off this counter and I need to clean the rest of the kitchen. One wipe down, it should be good. Cannot believe how bad that was. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe my boyfriend got in that shower this morning. I haven't showered yet. I'm like, shit. It's always an adventure. But I'm just wanting to get in the pool. Now I'm like, don't need to worry about the pool being clean. Anyways, always an adventure. And yeah, we're gonna clean this really well because I don't know if they actually use any cleaning solution. I don't know. I mean, it's not even like the deep clean. Like, I don't know, guys. I'm struggling at the moment being like, wow, that was really gross. And now, 
I know extended stays are not fabulous. And it's like it's her home away from home. I'm trying not to be the person like, hi, I thought I saw mold in there and I just cleaned. And they're not even gonna come to clean this week. So I almost want to be like, do you need some help? Do you actually need some help cleaning? Because I helped and cleaned for a week. Trust me. Even just the cleaning, not the stocking, the cleaning. Just me. They probably would get more reviews, good reviews. Oh, trying to clean up all of this shit. Put it all on the bed, wipe everything down. Then I can resume everything else. I was looking for this. Oh, you know, my face, my hair, everything is looking scatty wampus, but that's okay because I'm gonna have a clean hotel room. I can't believe I'm, oh. I shouldn't be surprised, but I'm also surprised that it's like, oh my goodness, I'm cleaning my hotel room. Hmm. All right. Well, not exactly what I thought I'd be doing this morning, but okay. Yeah, no, I just. I don't even know if they have any paper towels. Also, travel press for the win. <sighs> all right, all right, right. Okay, I'm gonna, I just gotta wipe everything down. It's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, we cleaned all the fronts of all these. Wipe this down. There's a bunch of gunk that was on the refrigerator and curled up there. Got the best I could scrubbing. It's actually white, not yellow. And yeah, did all these fronts, these fronts, did the microwave, looks a lot better. And wiped this whole thing down. This is now sanitized, wiped off all those tables. And now we can say, hotel room is clean. This was gross. And I will tell you why it was most likely this bad. In the industry, before y'all bitch at housekeepers, you're only allowed to be in a room for 30 minutes. This took me about maybe an hour and a half, almost two hours to scrub all the stains, like the inset stains, wipe it all down. That's me doing it. These people only have 30 minutes to vacuum, empty garbage, change the sheets, and clean an entire room by themselves. And this one was actually pretty bad. And it all started with it looking like there was mold in the bathtub. I don't know if there was, but anyways, cleaned, bleached. I feel better knowing that my hotel room is clean. I don't think I'd be doing that today. All right, I need to go do something fun and I need to eat. So I'm gonna actually get some water boil it all up and take care of that because I brought some miso soup and thinking maybe I'm just hungry. Well, now that my microwave's clean, I can actually probably cook a potato, so. All right, that was a lot of Clorox wipes. I'm going to actually empty all the garbage sacks right now. All right, we're going to unpack this bad boy. It looks like it's going to rain outside. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, maybe. Uh, couldn't find the key card for a hot minute. That was a little scary, but oh well. Dang it. Uh, I will just unzip it. So we didn't bring too much stuff because we're not going to be here for a while. This is all stuff that needs to go in the bathroom, including this little guy, water pick. Um, this is the only thing I'll be able to hang up. And yeah, I'll just hang that up. Now all that's empty. I brought this in case I wanted to, you know, have more water or fill up my coffee, something like that. And yeah, I need to reline all these. I started having a massive headache and I realized I used a lot of Clorox, so. All right, this thing holds a really big water bottle on the side. This I'm gonna do a little lemon thing. I like having my own ability to have all my stuff in one spot. So 
I can just plug in my iPad, watch Netflix, relax. This thing, I really didn't need to bring it because they have really good blackout curtains, so. But I do like putting my phone up off surfaces, so that thing's awesome. And nothing in this back pocket. Now everything else is just in the bottom. I'm really liking this bag. Just need to find a better work one for the other thing. So, always bring an extra one of these. Put things away. These are my other shoes. I can just put them right there. This is just other underwear and socks. Can just go right there. It's the only thing I wish I had an extra hanger for. My boyfriend took far less more time than me to unpack, so just like, oops. When you have more stuff than your significant other. All right, there, there. Let's put this in the corner. Put this right here. Shoes. Bags hanging here. This thing is awesome. I can just put all my bags right here in the hulk in so they're not on the floor or anything. These items look up in the drawer. See, like, I did bleach everything in front. All right. There we go. Okay. I think I'm going to wear this today with a shirt over it and I'll be fine. Put my cashmere in here. Let's see if it'll close. Oh, it closes. Fabulous. All the extra bags. Here. Love that thing. And I'll wear this with this. It says kind of cool out. Wear my hat, good to go. And slowly organizing everything else. There's not a lot of space. So my boyfriend's stuff takes up more space, so. All right, but this is pretty much everything that I need are right here, and I'm all unpacked. Ugh, Cause I've got all my stuff over there, including all my witchy stuff, so yay me. I just put it all in this, got all my happy vibration things, so it's all gonna be good. 